Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest freestanding skyscraper, is part of a magnificent concept design unveiled by the architectural firm Znera Space. The Burj Khalifa will be encircled by the 550-meter-tall downtown circle, a concept that has been designed. This new building will offer a welcome alternative to tower residences and gated communities and has undergone extensive design consideration. It also aims to be self-sustaining and self-sufficient. To find out more about this giant mysterious ring, continue on to our channel Must Visit TV. Dubai is a city that never ceases to astound the world with its fascinating attractions. In adopting the newest technologies quickly, the city serves as an example for the rest of the world. Dubai frequently outshines the world with its exquisite buildings. However, it is currently up preparing to show the world another fascinating spectacle. The Burj Khalifa is the world's tallest structure. Znera Space, an architecture firm, has unveiled a spectacular concept design that would include the world's largest freestanding skyscraper, the Burj Khalifa. Dubai intends to construct a ring around Burj Khalifa. Social media is exploding with images of these. Znera Space's design firm, whose portfolio includes exhibitions, furniture, product design, and stunning cultural facilities and cutting-edge homes and offices. According to him, Znera embodies excellence in application and enjoyment of experimenting, knowledge of people and contacts, crystallinity and fluidity, realism and vision, dynamic and intimate environments, pragmatism and enthusiasm. From a distance, Dubai appears to have been visited by a massive UFO. In a closer study, the future plan of this UAE mega project reveals a 550 meter tall ring that wraps around Burj Khalifa and has a 3 kilometer diameter. The firm has published the images and illustrations of the proposed concept, which is hoped to have a 3 kilometer diameter and cover the entire downtown area of Dubai. It will be broken up into smaller sections, each with homes and places for the general public, businesses, and cultural activities. The massive project is created by Zanera Space co-founders Najmus Chowdhury and Nils Remes, who typically focus on innovative construction that explores and confronts social constraints and environmental difficulties. This was their ambitious project. Downtown Circle was the two people's idea during the pandemic, which inspired them to reconsider the manner in which we inhabit cities, especially in skyscrapers. The idea involved a vertical city people began to seriously consider suitability, how they could change things, and how to enhance urban planning after COVID-19 struck hard. They considered factors including food production, transportation issues, pollution, and garbage disposal before combining all of these things to come up with this notion. The actual circumference of the circle would be made up of two primary rings connected by a continuous green space known as the Sky Park. This green belt will foster flora in abundance and will now have waterfalls and tropical vegetation. The construction must be built with sustainability as a priority. It aspires to construct an urban center that's highly efficient and that benefits the environment as a single mega-building complex. The 550-meter-tall megastructure under consideration provides an alternative to the isolated, disconnected high-rises that characterize most metropolitan regions. The architecture floats above downtown Dubai and wraps around the Burj Khalifa pulling the most energizing views and fresh air from the Sky Park. The development's spine and illocation with a variety of natural environments. Znera Space aims to work around the globe, creating places that offer special spatial experiences. Downtown Dubai is a must-see because of its iconic monuments, first-rate shopping, and lovely promenades. The iconic Burj Khalifa, the Dubai Mall, and the Dubai Fountain are just a few of downtown Dubai's attractions that will leave tourists in awe. Other important commercial and residential regions of the city are easily accessible from downtown. It is a fairly dynamic and vibrant neighborhood, strategically situated along Sheikh Zayed Road, E11 along Al Wasil, and adjoining Business Bay. One of Dubai's best neighborhoods for frequent travelers and non-drivers is downtown. No matter how you feel about it, the new plan for Dubai skyline is ambitious. Five points or pillars buried in the ground support downtown Circle's five stories. In order to create an interconnected three-dimensional urban green ecosystem, the immense span of the Circle would be made up of two principal rings that would be connected vertically by a continuous green space known as the Sky Park. Remis said that an aim of theirs was agriculture. Agriculture typically comes first in cities, followed by urbanization. Many large cities today are struggling with the issue of how to include more agriculture. Agriculture was one among the main elements they wished to incorporate into this idea. People walking through the green belt can see and feel mountain valleys, sandy deserts, different trees, flowers and plants, swamps, waterfalls, digital caves, trees laden with fruits and flowers, and different species and types of living things. It is intended to comprise compact units such as homes and public, commercial and cultural facilities. 
Sky Park would also have swamps, waterfalls, tropical vegetation, and other flora, serving as a lung for the building. The design calls for spaces for rainwater collection, solar power generation, and a mechanism for storing carbon and filtering air pollution. The screen belt will support a variety of plants. The design and sketches, which were produced in partnership with Poland-based visualizations from Pigtown, also feature a tram idea for the outer perimeter ring. A 20-pod transport system would transport passengers around the downtown circle that could go up to 100 miles per hour and provide 360-degree views of the city. Modern transportation will be provided as part of this tiered architecture. Suspended pods will be used for all transportation within the downtown loop. This is one of the projects in which Dubai may turn into reality in the coming decades. The Instagram posts also describe the exact job of these spherical vessels. The caption read, A fleet of suspended peripheral pods transport passengers from one node to another in the downtown circle. These suspended vessels travel through a network of rails at the bottom tier to reach their destination. According to Chowdhury, these hanging vessels use a system of rails at the bottom layer. A dedicated drone pad would be run by delivery providers. As evidenced by Saudi Arabia's Neom, which sounds like it could have come from a sci-fi movie, the Middle East is no stranger to cutting-edge designs. A 170-kilometer residential complex called Neom's The Line has no automobiles, no roads, and no carbon emissions. A million people will live there, spread out over 34 square kilometers when it's finished. The Line Mega Project in Saudi Arabia is comparable to the concept of a city within a city. The Line is intended to be created in the desert where space is ample. While creating Downtown Circle, Chowdhury and Ramez took into account all facets of urban living, including social, economic, and sustainable ones. But they are equally excited by the conversation about what is feasible in terms of design. When queried if the structure is scalable, Chowdhury responded, It would take time, a lot of manpower, a lot of resources, and a project like this one takes a lot of construction time and engineering, without going to specifics about how much it would cost to build a project like the Circle. Inside the continuous sky park, many natural scenarios and climates are reenacted, ensuring that both visitors and locals will have an exciting journey. The downtown circle concept was initially submitted as an entry in a design contest organized by the Dubai Feature Foundation. Two years ago, we submitted the design and we were informed that it had been chosen for further consideration. We chose to disclose the illustrations though, because it's been a while since we heard from them, he said. Chowdhury stated, We were trying to push the limits by using architecture as a medium. The team also thinks that the next stage of the plan's progress requires participation in contests and the display of winning concepts. When COVID-19 struck, he continued, We considered how we were shut off from mobility and the necessity for more durable building. Radical design ideas are nothing new for its narrow space. At the World Architecture Festival, the Duo Smog Project, a system of enormous towers that would recycle pollution into breathable air, was selected for the Experimental Future Project of the Year Award in 2018. The first vertical mosque in the world was designed by the two. As Nara Space said on Instagram, as a response to the dilemma of how to build densely while retaining livability, the Downtown Circle project establishes a sustainable and self-sufficient vertical urbanism. As a singular mega-building complex, it aims to create a hyper-efficient urban center that gives back to the environment. The proposed 550-meter-tall megastructure offers an alternative to the singular and unconnected high-rises found in most metropolitan areas. The downtown circle design has been shared in social media by his nearest space, and they're interested in the public's feedback. How do you feel? Is it smart or crazy? However, no details in the project's start date or price have been made public. When the Dubai Feature Foundation was being designed, such a concept initially emerged. Downtown circle would be a megastructure encompassing downtown Dubai.